I'm back. I'm tired. Very tired. This should be the finished one here. All right, so we're gonna upload some shorts, do some social media stuff this morning. I've gotta be pushing the social media stuff a lot harder if I want to do the business stuff. Um, so let's say imp, um, VR chat, hashtag VR chat. You think of a cooler title. In new Abby Avatar available. Mm, out now? Oh, that sounds bad. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll save this as a draft until I get the a um, public version of the avatar available. Yeah, let's do that. Which we'll do it today. Let's write that down. Version of imp. Um, uh, maybe not free, but at Gumroad, what are some good tags for VR chat? Characters. No. I have no idea. Maybe I do. Maybe I do need a new playlist. New playlist. Say. S. Damn. Others. Come on. Avatars. My avatars. Great. Done. B. M. Hashtag chat avatar suggestion as existing content VR chat life. I could see Pokemon being a good one. Blender, Pokemon. Do I? want to add all of these? Oh, I guess I only have a little bit of room. Um, uh, has been hotel. That'd be a good one. All right. And we'll delete this description. Let's go to my profile. Sorry, Sparkling. That's very, very clearly spam. I mean, that's just so blatant. If you're a real person, consider a different career path.
we go. Look at this goofball. Man, I love the drawing. That's so cool. Um, but I really wanted to get this text right here. And paste it here. Be a little impulsive. Buy once, receive all. My, my latest avatar is out now. Um, fully rigged avatar with color changer, color change sliders, wing toggles, wing slash tail toggles. This should be in the shorts. It's 10 seconds long. Why is it in, in the shorts category? Do I have to? You tell it it's short. Not clickable. Hello, Thorne. Good morning. Zetling is me. Hello, Zetling. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thorn and Zetling, welcome. Oh, no. It is a promotion, but I'm not being paid to promote it. For now, you can't change the thumbnail of short. Okay, so it is a short. How, do, how would I tell otherwise? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I copy these from here. All right. How's your day? It is going well. Nightmares. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm very tired. We had a daylight savings time change here, and it's awful. <laughs> I don't like daylight savings time. Why? Why is that a thing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, on that. Shorts visibility is not protected. The copyright protected content detected doesn't affect your short. Good. What time is it now in my country? Right now it is 8.43 a.m. and I'm in Texas. I'm in good old Austin, Texas. Um, yeehaw. I think it's my obligatory yeehaw. <laughs> All right, I think that's good for this video. It's morning, yes, it is definitely morning. <laughs> right now it is nighttime in the Philippines. Okay, heck yeah. Good old Texas, Texas, Texas. Well, I hope you're having a good evening, Zetling. If you're uh, new, it seems you're new to the channel and just uh, we, we, I make VR chat avatars here. So if you're unfamiliar with VR chat, that's what I do here full time. For now, I can't change the thumbnail. And this is the thumbnail that sucks. Um, oh well, I will have to be okay with that. <laughs> 3 p.m. here in Romania. Basically midnight already. <laughs> hello, Arctic. Good morning. Good morning, Arctic. Hello. hello. How's your How's your job going, Thorn? VR chat, VRC, avatar, VR chat, avatar, Unity, download Gumroad. Yeah, I'll do Pokemon. Oops. Let's get it to show up in other things. Pokemon has been hotel. That's another aesthetic that I feel that I think this would go into. Rotate this just a little. There. VTuber. Can't tell how much of my face is hidden when I'm typing. This. 
back on. Uh, it's a very narrow webcam. <laughs> I need to get my green screen set up once I'm in my new place. Once I'm in a new apartment, I'll get my, web, my green screen set up. The lighting here in this room is not, does not work well with it. My job's amazing. Even though sometimes I get rude customers, I get that normal interaction I did not get with my parents. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're out and about crushing it with your new job. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. Soon you'll be... I don't know. Off to new, uh, new exciting things, I'm sure. VTuber. Woo! Woo! <laughs> but my parents are narcissistic, so everything has to be about them. That is tough. That is tough. Um, yeah, that certainly doesn't create a conducive environment. See, I'm gonna go to ChatGPT really quick. Let's see, Trader, ChatGPT, and let's just say, um, oh yeah, I had him do this before. Create a set of twenty optimized and effective hashtags for this ad campaign, specifically for YouTube. Well, let's just finish sprucing up another older model. Nice, let's go Arctic, the first avatar base I made. Just need to find the energy to set up the VRC arena listing for it. <laughs> well, you should put your stuff on, I don't know if it's on Gumroad, but if you're using VRC arena, and you have a Gumroad page, they have some sort of auto sync thing. It saved a bunch of time. I will try a few of these. Virtual cosplay. Cosplay would be a good hashtag, I think. If I should be adding my hashtags here or I guess I can't put them there. <laughs> Cosplay. Um, what else? I guess metaverse would be good. Future of gaming. Digital art, also good. Everything else, meh. Okay. Do that. And then something like I stream daily on YouTube. YouTube streams. I wonder if there's a live one I can do. No, it doesn't matter. I think we're good with this. Oh, wait. Uh, question Can I add a direct link to a YouTube short? That's not, um, what I want. Can I add a direct link to my shop inside a YouTube short? Made a promo pick for my socials as well. Just need a few more picks sorted. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Both. A bear wolf. A bolf. <laughs> I like the little glasses. Glasses on furries are always so funny. It's like it's like that question of like 
if a snake wore pants, where would it wear them? Or a horse or something like that. That was really cool. That is really cool. But I think you should make a Gumroad page if you're going to release it for free anyway. Um, well, I don't know if you want to release the files, but up to you. Cheat GPT. You should share that in the Discord. I'm sure people would love that. How to make a furry look naked. Add glasses. <laughs> Gloves. <laughs> End screen. Okay, so if I go to video elements, can I add, that's just a video, visibility. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go for it. Sure. Publish. And I will copy the link. Or should I upload it to Twitter directly? Hello, Junie. Welcome. Oh, magical wizard of the Blender Kingdom. <laughs> That's my magic. I do your chat wishing you a wonderful day today. And well, I have a few issues with my model, but I know how to fix them myself. I'm just lazy. Laser smart. Look at me. I'm no longer helpless. Yippee. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Junie. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Welcome. Welcome all. Um, right now, we're going to be continuing to do a little bit more on the imp. Just some small stuff. I want to make a public version of the avatar. Um, so people can try them out. And I guess we'll make a world uh, today. A Sam Dutter world. Sam Dutter world. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do today. Sam Dutter world. It'll be real simple, but we'll have a world. There we go. Set up a drive folder already. So the fire files are available already. Just takes time to add to the bazillion socials that exist right now. <laughs> it's true. I'm in the midst of, I like, my goal is to get as many views to my Gumroad page right now. Sam. <laughs> the world of Sam. It's like Willy Wonka, but weirder. <laughs> Duttery, dutter, dut. <laughs> the world. Sam world, item one, giant mirror. I mean, that's, that, is that a reflection of me? Or is that a reflection of VR chat? <laughs> Item two, floor. <laughs> it really will be like that to start with. <laughs> it's gonna be a giant lollipop in Sam World. There can be, there can be. Uh, potentially, yes. Potentially, yes. <laughs> so we're gonna make a, another version. We have this guy, he's good. We'll just go ahead and hide him. We make another folder called imp pc pub. <laughs> Just like the Willy Wonka experience for real, for real. <laughs> That's right. I haven't seen a bunch of that. That's so funny. That's so funny. But also kind of sad that they had to deal with that. I feel bad for the people that ended up working there. Actually, I'm just going to make a new scene in the public upload, be a little bit easier. That happened not that far. You know, I was thinking that. I was like, I bet that's close to Namor's. <laughs> you could have the unknown and evil chocolate maker living in the walls of Sam Dutter World. <laughs> he actually lives in the space between, in in the in the <laughs> gaps between the stream. <laughs> if I knew it was happening, I would have gone to Glasgow, right? Yeah, it must have. That's amazing. That's amazing. You were so close to history. <laughs> Could have reached out and touched history as it was happening. Raise this up, yes. Get my head centered right in the middle of the frame. No, that looks weird. Go back right there. Boom. Boom. 
And what kind of project are you working on, Junie? My friend Martin also doesn't live far from the Willy Wonka experience either. Is he an Oompa Loompa? <laughs> and I should have in my SD assets my commission sheet. But I guess I don't want that. I guess I actually want to make a new image. Oompa Loompa? Oompa Loompa? Same one I worked on since 2022, my VTuber model. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's just pretty advanced model by now. It is. They get way more intricate as time goes on. More to do, more you can do. There's not really an end, is there? Is there? That's all Scotland is going to be known for on TikTok now. <laughs> a good thing, a bad thing. Unity SDK is starting to lag every time I it takes it takes like ten minutes for my Unity to open. It's really not. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, so we're gonna add a bit more detail to this because we're gonna make a little like info sheet here. So I'm in the public, oh, publi, publi one, not public, publi. Um, and we're gonna take this text, duplicate it, move it over here, and we're gonna say, um, Full version includes all future updates. Also, no underlined version. Grams has. That's okay. So all future updates. Um, color. Oh my god! I clicked it multiple times. Color sliders. Wing slash tail puppets. Um, toggles, you're always streaming when I'm supposed to be asleep. <laughs> Isn't it that late? Is it? <laughs> I'll be starting to pass out, then get notified on my phone. So here I am. <laughs> Your sleep's getting a wild, neighbors. <laughs> Truly living that international VR chat lifestyle. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. I need to stand up. I'm wearing shorts today. Don't look at my legs. I want to watch US time. <laughs> West US time. California apartment. Gotcha. Goose, so goose in on the west coast. <laughs> I see right through you. <laughs> Full version includes all future updates, color sliders, wing slash tail puppets, toggles, toggles, and then we're gonna say. Hello, Skyfire. Welcome. Hello. How dare. 
I just finished world update. I got light switch video link and drawing to work was super fun to do. How's your day? Sam? Yeah, that's not some skyfire. Those, those some, some interesting things to, to set up. Good job. Good job. Uh, my day is going well. The caffeine is sinking into my bloodstream right now and I'm, I feel ready for the day. <laughs> uh, Do roadmap features, I guess, something like that. Does that sound cool? Doop. And much more. <laughs> I feel like I have to be a little salesman-y on these ones here. There's no other way. There's no other way. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. I think I'm going to take this text and pull it out into its own folder. And then put these into their own folder, duplicate this, duplicate this, drag the effects on. Oh, actually, this is the only one I didn't want, was that inner glow. <laughs> okay. There we go. Inner glow. I can actually just hit this. Bam. Okay. A little bit easier to look at. It was just so bright. Burning my eyeballs. Okay. And then last thing I think I want to include is where the link to the gum road, right? samdebtor.com, and then the store link should be AMP. It never links directly to it. Get rid of the HTTPS. Now I may actually just change the font for this particular one. Something a little bit more legible. Legible. Perfect. Comic Sans. Go full imp and your friend or his friends get and give your friends one hell of a time. Order now. I like that. I like that a lot. I may steal that. I may steal that. Give your friends a hell of a time. I like that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch this one back to Pirata. So it looks good. Just this one spot, it looks odd. So I'm gonna spade out these two, I guess. So they're not touching. No touching, no touching. 
No, Comic Sans! <laughs> That'll be 20 buckaroonies, please. <laughs> Give me money. Oh, no, not those ones. Just these two. Space them out a little. Maybe, can I slip just this? Okay, that's better. But good morning, Mr. Lonely. Good morning. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good one. We're still doing more promotional shenanigans for the imp character here, but we'll be probably moving on. Well, we'll probably work on small little things for it throughout the next few months or so. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Uh, for the imp. Here, this one, I'm going to switch to this group. Oh, no, it kind of needs to pop more. Sounds good. <laughs> Do y'all have a good week? I missed you on Monday. Missed y'all guys on Monday because uh, it was daylight savings time here. So I woke up and I was like, wow, it feels way too early. And it was. It was way too early. <laughs> it was not an exaggeration at all. It was too early and I didn't like it. So I went, I just slept. <laughs> I just went back to bed. I was like, uh uh. <laughs> no. That's too much. Time changes really mess me up. I don't like it. All right, let's make a little object. We're going to make a placard for the uh, toggle on the character. Is the card going to be on the public version of the avatar? Exactly. So I'm going to pull out some of the features of the imp character, and then I'm going to have this card up here on the character <laughs> uh, on like a timer. So it'll be a little annoying, but I also don't want people to... I want people to understand the quality of the work, but not use it as a full avatar. I, want... <laughs> I do want to encourage them to purchase it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that feels weird. Like, we'll see. I'll get some feedback from it, and we'll we'll go from there. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll include it in here for now, and we'll say, imp placard, save. And all we want to do is make a plane. What are the dimensions here? Image, image size. Give me a ratio. I don't want to see that again. Image canvas size. Oh, 2400 over 1800. Divide by six, four over three. I'm lurking on a presentation on conflict management, so I'm going to be lurking. <laughs> Pay for full version. Hi, Sam. Hello, Sky. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. I'll call this in. Okay. And then we're going to export it to, I guess, just the public version. Awesome. And VR chat. Not mods. Selected objects. There's nothing else I've seen, but I'll say that anyway. Bye. Eyes are still stuck together. Extreme pink eye. <laughs> A concerning amount of pink eye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm going to re-export it because I want to take this, duplicate it, and then flip the norm. So. There we go. Save. And then we'll also want some 
another folder for materials, and in here, oh. textures. Go to Photoshop, File, Export Textures. Create a material and I'll call this imp promo. And I want it to be super cool, so I'm just going to make it unlit. Texture. Okay. Right. And then So if I add a material slot, bada boom, save, and now we have a slot to add the material. This goes here. Why? All right. Now where do we want to put this? I kind of, it's a little rude, but I'm going to put it right here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, let's also take this, flip it. Hmm, let me see if I can put this here. I may have messed it up there. I have to think about orientation. No, that's per perfect. Okay. Noise. All right, so we'll want a few of these, I think. We'll want one in the torso. That's going to be annoying if it's just right in front of the face. That feels a little too rude. So instead, I'm going to put it in the hand. And we'll zero it out. Where am I? Shouldn't there be some options here? Oh. Actually, no, we'll keep it down. And that way it's like in the palm of the hand. Right about there, so. That was kind of out of the way, but not like crazy in your face. I don't know. Mix a box covering the whole character, invert the normals, put that pick on every face. <laughs> fell. <laughs> fell right into my trap. <laughs> my advertisement trap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's something I thought of that would be fun to do that I think we get a kick out of doing on stream is making a world that has traps in it and then getting random people from VR chat to come in and then <laughs> having them <laughs> run through like a series of traps or something. <laughs> uh, launches them or attaches a spider to their face or something like that. That would be fun. I'm, I'm enamored with that idea. Uh, maybe. Because <laughs> so, it would be hilarious. It would be really funny. <laughs> Just like, get some random squeaker in and shove them into a pit filled with spiders or something. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
Springboard traps, exactly. <laughs> Just go stand over there. <laughs> Watch them. Get them launched. And then we're going to take the wings, hair, tail. Ah, we'll take all of these, actually. Take the whole thing. Pop it right here. Delete this. And just look for the Wing L. Wing O. Wing R. Hmm. You know, I think I actually put the fizz bone on the second bone. Bone. A prison box that makes their clothes invisible. <laughs> I don't think that's a, that's something I could stream, but. <laughs> <laughs> really depends on the nature of the head avatar in question. <laughs> you get some, some very surprising results there, I think. <laughs> oh my god. How does that character not trip? Let's just hit play, see if all things are working. <laughs> oh, it's like my tooth. All right, so the boy moving, moving and grooving, moving and grooving. But we are missing just a few things, such as the expression. Hmm, I just want, I just want this version, we'll duplicate and, and we'll say public version and we'll drag that down into here. Actually, I don't even need to share the avatar in a world to start sharing it, do I? You, you can just do a public link to avatars. Okay, that makes it simpler. Alright, so this is the puppet for the wings and the tail. I don't mind including the puppet. I will... Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave all these in there. That's That's fine with me. They can get a direct link from the VR chat website. That's good. That is a good feature. I think uh, it certainly make it a character a lot easier to share here. Um, and once I make it, I'll upload my site, up, update my site. Okay. So we've got that. Also, I'm going to be sharing today. I'm going to be making one more little Gumroad product, but it'll be really simple. Probably not super entertaining to watch, but what I'm going to be doing is making the um, make a post for the shape key script that I've made, which allows like really easy uh, saving of shape keys if you save them into an animation. So I'll be, I talked to a few people about sharing that, but I'm going to be uploading that today because I went through it, cleaned it up, made it a little nicer, um, added a few more features, and I think it's worthy of being shared.
actually can include just all, it's totally fine. I can just use these as normal. Nice. So one more time, I'm going to take out the PC version. <clears throat> Just drop it into the scene. Copy the avatar descriptor. Delete, and then paste the avatar descriptor. Because I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Parameter only, because we're using bone animations. Awesome, that looks good. Enable eye look. This goes here. Ah. That's right, I don't have any shape keys. There's nothing to do there. What? Um, I do have bones though. But if I add those, okay, no, let's leave it alone. That's entering complicated territory. Complicado. Uh, one more time, PC version. I want to look at your toggles. But I don't want any of those included. Just like fix right defaults and the blink controller. Copy this one. Paste component is new. And same with this other one. Copy. Paste components new. Delete the PC version. Rename this to imp brc pop. And then we can create that. Boom. <laughs> so say imp public version, a version, a limited featured version of the imp avatar available for testing. Visibility. Public. Never remembers the last folder. Materials. Textures. Copy this. Can I just drag it? Nope. That'd be too easy. Be too easy. Okay. Perfect. Anything else I want to add to the little quad that they're going to see? I don't think so. Don't think so. We'll just close that for now. And we'll upload. Oh. I'll be interested in the script. Good. That's what I'm going to work on next. I think uh, I'm excited for it. I might do a little YouTube video to explain it to people. Um, well, no, I'll have to because it's going to be kind of obtuse. 
um, <laughs> without it. <laughs> um, small tut would be awesome. Yes, uh, it, it should be pretty simple-ish, but it's still a, it's a bunch of script. Like you know, when you just look at a script, it's always like I have no idea what I'm looking at. So, um, but I did update it now, so you can include two two other things. So first is it'll bake all the frames with the name. So you give it an animation and it bakes all of those at the right time. And then the other cool thing that I uh, did was um, you can now, any displacement modifier you have on your character, it will also bake. So that way you can, um, any sliders or stuff, like if you want like body morphs, you can automatically save those as shape keys quite easily as well which is cool. Oh, and then lastly, the one other feature I added was that sometimes you want to remove the shape key influence on certain things, especially like the eyes. So you can um, give it a vertex group, select which shape key you want to remove the influence of. And so that way, when you bake everything too, you never have to go back in manually tweak your your staff <laughs> all right um so we uploaded that let's make private open on web do two-factor authentication Oh, cool. I can generate imposters. Generate. Sure. Uh, so is this all I need? Is this all I need to share it? Just this link up top? Or where was it? This one right here? I would assume so. Yeah, let me paste that in chat. And if you guys want to add the avatar, feel free. God, that was the public version, right? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Cool. I've never generated impost before, so I'm interested to see how that turns out. All right. Um, I think that's it for the moment. I don't need to package this out because it's now available. Got it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. It says you can switch to it or save from that link. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Awesome. Then let's update a few things with that link. So we'll go back to our uh, road and Public version available here. Hmm. That looks bad. Much better. And what did you say earlier, Nambles? You said, uh, Go full imp and give your friends one hell of a time. Order now. <laughs> I am going to just copy a little bit of that. Let's just say, give your friends one hell of a time. Order now. Bam. Bull. Boldly. <laughs> say it boldly.
Um, save. You know, I think I'll go back. Yeah, I'll make them suffer. <laughs> Public version available here. Make sure. Maybe public testing version. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna that alone. I'll figure it out. Stealing my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it, was, it was a good pun. You know, the, the way to my heart is through puns. <laughs> oh, wow. 91 views on that short already. That's awesome. And I do want to actually edit it. 11 likes as well. Nice. Shorts. And here. Oh, you know what? I will not add the public link to. Yeah, I'm only going to keep the sample version. Yeah, sample version. That's a good way to put it, actually. Sample version. Because public kind of implies like. Yeah, let's say sample version. Uh, now I'm like, I'm torn on that because I don't think people will get it if I say sample version. I don't think they'll understand what I'm saying. I like, uh, give the avatar a test drive. I'll leave it for now. People know what it means. I just, <laughs> I'm prone to over elaborating. <laughs> Often seen in public avatars. Okay, okay. I could update the image that I included and just say sample version. Um, yeah, why don't I go to the builder and we'll say sample version. Limited, limited feature. a less featured version of the impact tar available for testing. Um, and then I should include full version available here. Okay, that feels good. I feel, feel like I made some good decisions there. <laughs> um, alrighty. Now, I think we're good on this. Uh, oh yeah, I did actually finish the animation. I don't know if everyone's seen it, but I did finish our little um, uh, animation for the, the end. So let me show that off. I always struggle getting to my own videos. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so hard to like, just go right to my own videos. To click too many times. Anyway. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> It's a little low res. Is that just YouTube? It has to be, because it looks super sharp on the other one. Well, thank you, Scott. Thank you. I'm going to share that on uh, Discord now. My channel. Oh. <laughs> no stream today. Oh, he's going so sad. <laughs>
No, that's okay. Uh, but yes, but look. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, did he delete his uh, share? I don't see it. Just because you can't stream doesn't mean we don't want to see it. Fair, is true. Right. Boom. Can't you stream here on Discord? <laughs> Next time, I may. Just have to slip up some. Eight. So here it is, the finished animation. Bam. All right. So now we can save this. Um, and we can begin to put together our shape key baker. So I was using it on Christy. All right, so thinking about this. I need a little YouTube promotion. Cool, I'm glad we finished the public version. That, that was something on my mind that I was kind of delaying. And so we need a video, sorry. We'll probably make on stream. Um, we'll need also a written description. And then a cool thumbnail for the GoPro cage. Important stuff. New products. New product. What are we creating? We are creating a Blender, shape, key, baker. Digital product. Should I sell it? Yeah, we'll do a dollar. Something simple. And what is this? This is a script for baking. Shape keys, shape keys. Uh, onto a character. This, say, a utility script. Designed, initially designed for creating VR chat avatars. Designed with creating VR chat avatars in mind. So it will be useful to anyone. No uh -oh, refund. <laughs> Need that dollar back. Okay, I have to run to the restroom really quick. I shall return in just one moment. Am I standing off camera? I can never tell if I'm like here on the screen. Maybe right here. Actually, I wonder if there's
physical script I could get to move the camera. Anyway, I'll be back. One moment. Blender Shape Key Baker. Blender Shape Key Baker. Features include baking shape keys from an animation. On a specific frame of an animation with a specified name. Um, baking shape keys from any displacement modifier on the target mesh, on the active mesh. 
Hello, Suru. How was the poop? It was great. I feel much lighter now. At least 10 pounds lighter. But I left my coffee out there. Was it tasty? <laughs> my, my poop? <laughs> The coffee's tasty. It's what I'm turning into poop. Brown goes in, brown comes out. <laughs> but hello, Zeru. I hope you're feeling better. How's, uh, how you doing? How you doing? Uh... <laughs> Removing shape key influence. Removing specific. Influence through a purchase group. Easily extensible or those with extensions. Easily adaptable to your custom setup. Okay. Trying to feel fine. Still have two more weeks on antibiotics, but thanks. I think it's better already. Well, good to hear. That's rough, though. Two weeks of antibiotics. Lots of napping. Lots of napping involved. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you're on the up and up, and I hope you continue to feel better. Doesn't need to be italicized. But I will make it bigger. Bigger. Thanks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Getting sick sucks. It's the worst. I think it will be useful to anyone working in Blender. Um, shape keys are very painful and awkward to work with. <laughs> this script helps me stay flexible. I think that's good. Let's just save and continue really quick. And I'm <laughs> it's funny because in the video, if I go through the script, everyone's gonna see the whole script. It's like it's a dollar. I guess if someone really wants to save a dollar, they can copy it by hand, but <laughs> uh, All right. I, I, I respect that. If someone really doesn't want to pay a dollar, they can just copy it by hand. And we'll do some little self promo at the bottom of my stream on YouTube every weekday. Daily. I'm saying. 
YouTube. Is it the live here? I say streams. But if I go to my channel right now, what's the actual, this one? Oh God, I wanna see myself. Um, but does this always link to the live one? No idea. All right. Once again, back to product. Okay. Um, twelve hundred, twelve, lady, seven twenty. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna make a little video right now, just going through it. Um, I guess I'll. Blah, 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 blah. I might as well include chat in this. Why not? Why not? Don't say anything weird, chat. <laughs> you are, I don't care what you say. Uh, I can always, I can always censor it later. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay. So I'm going to go into YouTube mode. I'll just be talking like I'm making a YouTube video. So pair your butts. Let me know if you have any questions too. Um, just do a little play by play. What am I going to do? I'm going to describe it. What is the script? And how I use it. That's pretty much it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So entering YouTube mode. <laughs> hey there, everyone. Thanks for checking out uh, my Gumroad product here. I just wanted to go over how to use it, uh, what's in it, and uh, how you can adapt it to your avatars or your Blender projects. Um, so initially I did make this in mind for working with a character. So this is a, a client commission that I've made. Um, and we have a lot of shape keys we need to bake for most VR chat avatars. You could work with bones, but I definitely prefer shape keys for the most part. Um, and right now I have shaved, saved shaved. Uh, so if I go to here, you can see that as we scroll through the character, all these different shape keys have been saved. But one of the biggest problems with working a shape is when you need to change one, or let's say I needed to edit the hair or something like that, working with the shape keys, applying modifiers and stuff gets so painful that I really don't like uh, working with them because uh, they're awful. <laughs> so what I've developed is a little script over here that given an animation on the character will save a shape key on the specified frame. So that's the number here on the left with a specified name. So uh, as you can see on my shape keys, it's just a one to one list. Uh, we have the basis, which is uh, standard, but then it goes into the, the name down here and it just matches this list exactly. Um, I have a lot more here because of face tracking, full face tracking. Um, so that's really where it comes in because holy moly, it's a lot to do <laughs> and uh, I'd rather be able to recreate it. So basically the first step, if you're going to use this, is to create an animation. So I have this little animation right down here uh, with all my keyframes. I've set up a rig that does have facial animation bones. So I can go ahead and move my rig around. It's very laggy right now. Um, after I get everything into a position, so let's say if I go to 260, or let's do happy 270, you can see that we have this expression. Now I'm going to go back to frame zero, and um, anyway, it matches exactly. Uh, it is a little bit of use bones for animation, but that's a tangent. Uh, so if I need to add a new shape key, and this is how you can adapt it for yourself, uh, you can just go in and using this format, 
which is the two parentheses and a comma at the end. And then you specify whatever frame you want. So we'll say 69, because I'm a child. <laughs> and the name will be Lol. <laughs> and if I included that in here, it would look at my animation at frame 69, which is probably nothing, just this little face here. Um, and it would look at this animation. And basically all the script does is it, the mesh selected goes to the modifier and hits save as shape key. So that's under the hood what the script is doing. It's just selecting your armature modifier and save as shape key on this frame, uh, on this frame. And that's the key part. Um, but of course, if I don't want that, I can go ahead and delete it. Bada boom. I, I don't want that. <laughs> uh, as well, it will also take any displacement modifier that you have. So it's, uh, for example, this eat putt. Um, so like that kind of facial expression is what I was looking to save. It's a little bit harder to do with a, uh, um, with uh, the way my rig is set up. So I wanted to use a displacement modifier. There's of course other sliders and things like that you can add, but it's nice to be able to save that into a modifier because then if I need to ever edit and I have to get rid of my shape keys, I still have it saved here. So after it goes through the animations, making a key, uh, shape key for each of the listed keyframes, it gets to the next step, which is create shape key from displacement modifier. And it's pretty simple. All it does is the exact same thing. It goes to it, says save shape key, um, and it will save, uh, save that as a shape key. Uh, now for this particular task, the saving from displacement modifier, it is just gonna go through each of your modifiers here and, and save it. So if you don't want it saved, you would have to remove it. Uh, now, uh, the last feature that this script has is this reset shape keys. Um, so uh, just to uh, elaborate on the displacement a little bit more, the way you control adding the displacement modifiers is through the modifiers. It's not in a list like, like the script has it for these other two features. Uh, you use the modifier, you add it here, and uh, that's what it's going to look for to bake it. But in order to use the final feature, the third and final feature, which is removing influence. So for example, um, on my look up here, if I go into wireframe, you notice that the eyes don't move. But when I actually use that, go to that frame here on my animation, look frame 40, you'll notice that the eyes actually do move in animation, which is a little annoying because we, we don't want the eyeballs to actually move with the eyelids, in VR at least, depends on your application. Um, but I, I used to have to go and manually <laughs> remove that influence from the eyes, but go to the look up, and then on frame 50, there's the look down. You have to go in on that influence. It's a huge pain. So what I've developed now is instead of using that, you'd use another little list here. And what you say is the first frame, or the first um, uh, name here is the shape key you're looking for that you want to change. So on vrc.v look up, I want to reset my selection. And this next selection, selection eyes, is actually a vertex group. So what I've done is simply just save this into a vertex group right here, selection high. So if I go into edit mode and select that, you can see I have my eyes selected. Pretty straightforward. It's a nice way to save your selection. Um, and I only really need it for these two, but I'm sure there'll be other cases where it's just nice to have it um, built in automatically resetting sections of your shape keys uh, without have you having to do it anyway. Um, now that's basically the whole thing. Um, so when it's running the script, these are the three commands right here. If you do not want it to do one of these, so for example, if you do not want it to create, you don't want to add the modifiers, um, the displacement modifiers, and don't and you don't want to make shape keys from your nation, all you need to do is put a hash in front 
uh, VR <laughs> in front of the command, and it will not do that command anymore. Um, so for example, if I didn't want it to save the displacement modifiers, I could put it there. And once it's gray, uh, that means that it's not active anymore, and it will not call on the scripts above uh, to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It saves me a ton of time. Uh, it does take a while to, uh, if, if you have, depending on how many shape keys you have, it can take quite a while. Um, but it, it is pretty straightforward. Um, and it certainly saves a lot of time. The key thing, which is a little bit different from some other uh, people's workflows, is that I am saving all my expressions in an animation and then converting those to shape keys. If your workflow is that you just edit your mesh directly to make shape keys, this may not be as useful. Or I think may show you that having a facial rig, there's a lot of benefits to that. Uh, but anyway, thank you for checking it out. Definitely uh, leave a comment or like if you have any questions. Thank you for, for listening to me, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Okay. Uh, how did you integrate the script? Just paste it there. Oh, that was a good question. That was a fantastic question. Let me, <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, record that as well, because I, I should have included that. Uh, actually, no, I'll just use an image for it. Yes, it is really just as simple. Uh, you don't paste it, you just go, I want to open it. And I have a little scripts folder here. Oh, wait. All right, it doesn't see it sometimes. Actually, scratch that, reverse it. Um, what I do is I just have my script. And you just drag it in. You just drag it into this window. Oh, that's the wrong folder, my goodness. For example, Christy scripts, I have all my scripts here, and you can just drag it into this window. So, and that's it. Um, yeah, unlink, unlink. But it is that simple. Once you, you just drag it into your little text editor, and to run it, oh, I should have said how to run it. You just, uh, Put your, you can hit the play here with the character selected, hit play, or hover your mouse cursor over and hit Alt P, and that will open it. It's not tech, it's not called a scripting window, it's called the text editor right here. Um, so yeah, I think I'll put together a little uh, uh, document. Because those are good questions. So maybe I'll redo the tutorial. Yeah, it won't take that long. I might just read the tutorial because uh, <laughs> those are good questions. And honestly, it's uh, going to be longer to make it uh, by hand. So we'll redo that one more time. Um, so how to install script. Uh, you know, I'll just do a little segment about the script itself, and then I'll just add it on. Um, yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Trooper mode. How to install, how to run. Um, Okay, so one last thing, almost forgot this. Uh, to use the script, to actually bring your, the script into your um, scene, all you really need to do is take a new little window, move it over to your text editor, bam, right here, and then with your text file uh, selected, now this is a, not the same script, but you can just take it and drag it into the window, and now you have the script available to you. Um, and if you want to run the script, first you have to make sure you have the correct object selected. So in this case, my uh, character. Um, my character selected. You could also do the clothing. It doesn't really matter. Um, just whichever object you want to save the shape keys to. Once it's selected, make sure you're at frame zero. So shift, uh, I usually hit shift, 
arrow over, arrow left. Okay, shift over. And that'll put my, uh, keep my timer back at zero. And then you can just run the script. Two other things to note, the script is looking for the armature named rig. So you do need to name your armature rig in order for it to uh, run properly. So usually it looks like this, armature. It will not run with that. You need it to say rig. Um, because if you have multiple armatures, maybe rare a rare situation, but you do want to know which armature you're baking from. <laughs> It, that is important. So that's just a way to clarify which rig it is. And once you have it selected, you hit the play arrow up here, or um, you hit Alt P while your cursor is hovering over this. So again, that is Alt P. I'm just gonna do it out here, bam, like that, Alt plus P, but with your cursor over the dough. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanna get rid of the script scene, you just hit X, unlink it. Um, it's kind of annoying because you can't quite find the text files through the uh, full explorer. Uh, you have, I prefer to drag them in because for some reason they just don't show up. Silly. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, hope that hopefully that helps. Bye. <laughs> okay. Recording's done. I'm a professional, y'all. I'm such a professional. <laughs> crying sobbing all right great thank you sam absolutely sky absolutely and i'm going to put these together into a video now um in order to share this we have 20 24 products Shape the baker. Okay. Go grid the videos. Exit that. Pop up Blender, and I'm gonna sit down now. I'm tired of standing. I'm tired of standing. Oh. Oh. all that shit. Video editing, I'll save this to here. And we'll call this shape key baker uh, edit. Bam, save. All right, and then we can take the video we made Assuming this is the first one I made. And then we'll take the second one. I'll make them a meta strip. It's so wild to me that I can't just snap to the back here. And you know, that's fine. I can just cut there, delete, and then fade out. Mm-hmm. 
then put the this goo here. Bam. We'll add a color. All right, now we can actually fade in and out. There we go. Good. <laughs> I think I'll need to put something here like Um, let's add some text. No, I don't know. Let's see. What did I say while I'm there? And I'll turn off desktop audio so you guys don't have to listen to me twice. We have a question before everything. Or I think it may show you that I'm in facial game one time. Yeah, thank you for texting. Yeah, thank you for texting. Oops. One time text. Oh. Too far. Too far. One last thing on this left. Uh, to use the split, to actually flip split, uh, to use uh, to use the split to actually bring in the script into the actual um, scene, all you really need to do is you can use any window. Move it over to your text editor. Perfect. Oops. What a weirdo. <laughs> this fucking guy. All right. Uh, Now we can render that out. And we'll put it where? What is the size? I'm pretty sure my video is actually 1920 by 80, 1080. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. Wow, my this is, <laughs> I need a bigger screen. Um, okay, um, that'll work. It'll work. Whatever. So, render animation. We will do that in just a moment. First, we have to determine where we're 
edit sending it. So I'll say renders shape the baker. V1. And we'll set it to FM. And we'll use MP4, H26, AAC, output quality, high quality. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for checking out. Product here. I just wanted to go over how to use it, uh, what in it, and uh, how you can adapt it to your editing style or your editing style. Um, so initially, I did make this in mind for working with a pair for the uh, client submission that I've made. Um, okay, I don't want to rewatch the whole thing right now. Render animation. Eyeball. Eyeball. I can really zoom in. <laughs> All right, let's get YouTube ready. Yes, Sam's on. Hello, Chip. Welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm here. I'm ready. Uh, we just made a little video about this tool. I thought there were... Oh, I see. Okay, we still got a while to go on rendering this. But hello, Chip. How's it going? I was waiting all day yesterday and you weren't on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, daylight savings time here. I had some work I couldn't stream, and uh, it was daylight savings time here. So I, was, I woke up very tired and too early. And I don't like that. <laughs> Day's going good now, huh? Good. Glad to hear that. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's already Tuesday. All right, so we're just kind of chilling, waiting for this video to load. I, I don't want to do too much while it's rendering. Hopefully it's not interrupting my... Um, ...stream. Hopefully the sound's coming in. Uh, in okay. I'm gonna move the microphone a little bit closer. There we go. I need one of those boom boom mics. Boom boom mics. Right, I guess we're just chilling right now. Uh, I'll keep sprucing up my uh, my description here. Okay, we do need to make a. Uh, image. So we need some sort of banner, 1280 by 720. Hey Sam, I'm trying to get back into learning making avatars and I forgot the way you did that thing where you can easily fix Blender version and make it update in Unity without re-importing everything. So it, 
feels a little weird at first uh, if you're not used to this kind of process, but basically all you do is just overwrite your avatar. So if you're looking to make changes to an avatar, like for example, my imp character here, all I do is I just overwrite the FX file whenever I have a new version. So if I make more horns or more teeth, whatever, um, you just overwrite that FBX file. Um, there are a few things you need to keep in mind when you do that, and I'll go ahead and open Unity in the background so I can show you those things. It'll take a little bit to open Unity, uh, but generally that's what you're doing. Um, when you make the, you're really the only concern is when you make changes to the bones, then you need to go and reset the bones. <laughs> and I'll show you how to do that. Um, Eighty by seven twenty. So if you overwrite the Blender FBX, does it update in Unity straight away? When you say Blender, so FBX is a file format that multiple programs can make. So um, you don't want to overwrite the Blender file, as in the program, the, this, this here. Like if I had my Blender file, I don't want to overwrite that. What I want to overwrite is what I export from Blender. Um, so if I'm in here on IMP, I have my FBX file in this folder. And I literally just save it over this exact file because all my prefabs, everything that I've built from this file, those will get updated. Um, but it is important to, if you change your bones, what you need to go do is go into your configure options. So if I made my arms longer or something to that effect, Unity is gonna hold on to your previous version. So all you have to do is go to reset, sample, enforce, and hit done, apply. And that's, that's really the only consistent issue you might encounter is that, um, Is this is this testing okay perfect um <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it uh, it's not too bad that there can when you um drag out your fbx file so i have let's let's say that this guy's not in the scene when i drag out my fbx file and it doesn't have anything but it's blue here in the scene when you see it being blue then you know you've retained the prefab structure. And that is also important for making sure all your updates get passed to your new version. If this prefab connection is broken, so for example, if I um, unpacked the prefab, you can see it's gray now. So the problem there is that when I update this FBX file, it'll update certain things, but it's not going to change the structure. Um, so like, it won't automatically put the body mesh back in case I forgot to export or something. So for example, I made an avatar and I want to let me make a hat. I'd make a hat and blender on the avatar and then that FBX, avatar FBX, I overwrite and the Unity FBX, correct? Yes, yeah. So. Um, FBX is just like a format like PNG or JPEG or something. It's just a, you have a bunch of data, how should it be interpreted? And FBX just lets things know that this is the format I want you to interface with. Um, there's no Unity or Blender version of FBX. Uh, there's just FBX files, like there's just JPEGs. Um, but yes, you would overwrite it on the inside your Unity project. Whatever you've exported from Blender, put into Unity project, then you, you overwrite that, that version. It's gonna save me and my girlfriend a lot of time, not even, oh yeah. I mean, without it, you're basically looking at a nightmare. <laughs> like, and whatever you wanna do takes a hundred times longer. <laughs> well, good, I'm happy to help out in that regard because uh, yeah, I understand that pain. I understand that pain. It's too much, too much. Kind of reminds me of a exporting 
get so slow after a while. Sorry, just checking my email. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. There, there are, as with anything in Unity and Blender, there, there is nuance. And there are edge cases for how things can go wrong. But generally, that's how I do it. And it's just the overarching process. It was nice for, for my girlfriend because she made Avatar and it messed up. She would then have to re-import everything. With your methods, just like an update in a way and boom, so quick. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I think... Um, I don't know if you're familiar with what a, sw a switchboard is. Like back in the day when you had a phone call, you would do like, you would literally take one cable, like, this person's calling and you plug it in a spot and they're calling this person and you plug it into that other person's uh, spot. And so literally like connecting it. As long as you maintain the connections Unity expects, you can actually be very precise in how you can make everything work together. Cause it's, it's less like, it's more of the structure of the thing. And you're just going in, you're changing what expects that stuff to be. And you go in, change your FBX file, or change your... T you can do the same thing with textures. Um, you can do this kind of the same thing with Unity packages. And that's what the one last piece of advice I'll recommend is, before you do any of these changes that I'm recommending, save everything into a Unity package so you can back it up. So if your character is in this folder, just go right-click, Export package and save your save your work. <laughs> uh, kids nowadays don't know what a switchboard is. Crumbles into dust. <laughs> Goodbye, Arctic. It's like getting a uh, <laughs> just fades away. <laughs> I kind of have a general question for Abby Creation. Absolutely, this guy. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, yes. I mean. Switchboards, telephone operators. I don't. I don't think those. <laughs> I don't think that uh, is common knowledge these days. <laughs> what are the main steps? from making a VC avatar from concept to game? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so let's write them out because I think uh, it'll be harder to, to discuss it. But basically your first step is to get slash create reference. Or actually I would say get slash create reference. So that's like, what do I want my character to look like? This and that, and then create a character turnaround. Then you want to sculpt the character, free to apologize character, um, UV map, uh, then I texture. Some sometimes some of these can be switched around um, depending on what you prefer, but this is, this is what I do generally. Uh, UV map texture, and then uh, Unity integration. Testing is its own step for sure. <laughs> and then upload. So that's kind of the overall process right there. Um, you also made me learn quite a lot just from a couple streams. Good. Best way to learn is by watching the best. I, I appreciate that. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Looking at the mountain top. <laughs> Looking at the peak. Tippity top. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, generally, this guy, it's you want to get and create a reference. So what what should the character look like? And then you do want to crystallize it into a character turnaround. So like front, back, and side, generally. Uh, I think it's important to get those views, if you can, uh, before you start sculpting and before you start modeling. Um, there's so much you can solve ahead of time if you draw it out in that way. <laughs> if, you, if you make a turnaround, you, you can answer a lot of questions 
that you really don't want to encounter when you're modeling. Um, you know, just kind of thinking of like, how do, how do the belts attach? Belts are a really funny thing because sometimes they're like in the 2D view, it looks good from one side. And then you're like, I have no idea where this belt should go on the other side of the character. So I think the character turnaround is super important. Um, and I, I don't take commissions unless that it, unless my client has the character turnaround. Um, be interested in breaking down, in knowing breaking down smaller steps in unit integration. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, So for Unity integration, yeah, actually, let me, we'll make a little, doo -doo -doo, or a little break here. And we'll call this, it, it'll be its own thing. <laughs> uh, so for Unity integration, generally what you're doing is importing uh, models, 3D models, um, importing textures, and then with those textures, you want to create materials. Oh, sorry, I did uh, miss rigging something. I'm gonna try to make my own personal avatar. It has a cloak, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work, to be honest. I can show a few pictures on your Discord and the Blender channel. Like, I'm not sure how I'd make the cloak work. You wanna look into Fizzbones. Um, and you're welcome to share that image, but Fizzbones are usually how things move dynamically um and then there is also a cloth modifier for unity which is just actually simulates it like cloth um but it's a little it can be a little glitchy <laughs> um yeah so you import the textures create materials um add uh fizz bones um set up VR chat features or avatar descriptor. That'd probably be a better way to put it. Create animators. And I'm sure there's more. I can't believe I'm not thinking of them, but yeah, set up the avatar descriptor, create animators. Uh, I would definitely say use VRC Fury to make toggles <laughs> for as much as you can for as much as you can um yeah and then we'll actually put create animators below that uh, this is for toggles uh, basic features create animators for anything BRC Fury can't do. Um, yeah, hopefully that answers your question, Sky. Definitely feel f feel free to ask me to elaborate on that anymore, just because uh, the difficult part about um, once you're in Unity is that oftentimes you are going back and forth between Blender and Substance Painter. So it gets a little bit more nebulous as time goes on as to like what exactly should be happening. Um, may not seem much, but having a good understanding of the steps helped me so much. Well, good, good. It is, I mean, if you don't know, then it just looks like some wild mystery box of many surprises <laughs> and it is <laughs> there's certainly things and it, it won't cover everything but these are the general uh, steps um, and what i found consistently is the hardest and biggest step is this one right here the testing testing is its own thing i would say because once you're um you want to do as much as you can before you ever get into VR, before you ever, the, the workflow gets so much harder when you're making changes and then going into VR to test to see if they work. Um, I would say in integration, AKA uh, testing with 
av3 emulator. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would, that would be my recommendation. If the moment you're putting on your, you, the difficulty with this kind of work is like you're excited and you want to get into VR and like show off the avatar as quickly as possible or like this and that. But the moment you start going back and forth to VR, everything slows to a crawl. It just becomes so much slower to work. Um, like uh, Chip was talking about how like, oh, you need to go back and, you know, having to reset up the avatar all the time. There's just th certain processes you want to avoid anything that multiplies the amount of time you're doing a certain step. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, screenshot this. Uh, and I can throw that somewhere too. It looks like our video is done. Uh, this here. Oh, should be. Interesting, you can make podcasts now on YouTube. Nope, wrong thing. Products. Renders. It'll take some time to process brain expansion. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> well, definitely, uh, you know, share what you're doing. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder if you uh, just kind of keep keep all the the burden on yourself. You know, sharing what you're doing, asking questions. There's so many things that I worked in the past that if I had just taken the time to actually ask someone, it would have, it would have saved a few days of work. I'll show you my demo reel tomorrow. Oh, excited, very exciting. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let this upload one moment. I'll be right back, so let's go run to the restroom. I'm back. Oh. Uh, oh, hello, Era. Hello, welcome. I think I just tried away. I stepped away right when that happened. <laughs> um, we should be able to look at your Blender channel on Discord. It's taking steps so I can write them down what I need to fix. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. May not be able to give you a full list, um, but I can certainly point out a few things. Interesting. Um. Didn't see you yesterday. Was wondering if you were sick again or something. It's daylight savings time. I woke up and I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep some more. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep some more. Um, so for this avatar, so you're sim actually simulating cloth in Blender. Then I would, I think one of your main concerns right now is just how heavy this mesh is, because it looks very high resolution to me. You'll want to make sure it's not too crazy on the terms of resolution. Um, but you do want it to be in like this kind of pose. Um, you may have a very difficult time with this kind of cape because your arm, arm is 
going to do things that may not work with this being one piece. You may want to strip it down so it's just the cloak on the back. Or, or change it so that your sleeves are like this, right? So you, you actually you give, give them sleeves instead of a, a cloak. Like this. And I'm just enjoying drawing right now. Um, whichever feels closest, but when you rig this, and if you attach like the influence of the forearm here, like it would basically influence this whole section. And so when you rotated your arm, it would like, if you, if you rotated your arm so that your arm was up like this, <laughs> how do I do this? You know, it would take the bottom of the cloak and rotate that whole thing up uh, with the arm. So kind of swivel it. Um, and that would look really odd. Um, I think your your best bet is to make something that conforms to the body more than the arms. Um, so that would be probably my first recommendation. Um, on side note, Sam, the neon, I am going to switch to it. Good. Good. I've been playing a lot with the nodes, and while I don't know how to do everything yet, I'm still experimenting. Yeah, full on replacement for VSF. Also considering looking for a used iPhone as well. Not a bad idea. Um, they're probably pretty cheap nowadays because uh, people really want the, the face train stuff out there. Um, I would assume that's not terribly expensive. <sighs> Sorry, stretching. Um, but yeah, Vineon's amazing. And I, the creator, I was talking to her and she was saying, that she's going to be creating a new format so we don't have to rely on VSF at all. They are ish, but I would need an uh, AR kit upgrade. Gotcha, gotcha. Shape key baker. Simplify working with shape keys. This video goes over the features of my script, utility script for Blender. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy my gum rubber post. But yeah, Chip, it's a little bit hard to say what exactly would need to be done on your avatar. What I would say is you should not make your avatar in Blender, kind of going back to that list I was just working on, like steps to do. I think you should go and draw your character first or find like, like specific clothing that you wanna bring in. Um, because right now it's hard to know. It, it's gonna take you a lot longer to make everything properly if you don't have, aren't a hundred percent sure on what your design should be. So I, I would say what the easiest way would be like, go back two steps and just really figure out what you want your character to look like, draw it out. Even if it's just simple technical drawings, just like cloak, uh, Kevlar vest, I, I'm just making stuff up, uh, gun, you know, whatever, whatever you want to add to the character, just like list it out, draw it out, even in a simple way. And, uh, and then go back to Blender and start modeling. Because then you'll have a plan. Then you'll know what you want uh, and you get feedback on your drawing and edit that a lot easier. Like if I tell you to edit the cloak right now and you go back into Blender and start uh, editing a bunch, it's just gonna, it's gonna probably be a little bit demoralizing because it'll take longer. Uh, look, going for a kind of rain cloak in a way. Okay, heck yeah. Cloak seems like advanced rigging indeed. It, any sort of draping fabric is uh, challenging. Which I'm not sure how to even start thinking about. May just need to push it back again since cost. I, I mean, for my phone here, the as long as it has the facial recognition, or I guess it's on this side, but um, as long as it has a facial recognition, that's all you need. Because uh, the 
Unreal Engine app, which I use for driving the v VTuber, that's free. Like there's a bunch of free, uh, oh, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Um, yeah, let me, once, cause uh, now that I've cleared out Christie's work, you're next, you're on the chopping block right now, chop. Um, so I'll take, and I'll get back to you on that. Um, It's not too bad. Thankfully, since I used ARKit, it really, really speeds things up. Someone looking for a used iPhone. I think Arrow was talking about it. This video goes over the features. Hello, Jay. Welcome. Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Welcome. This video goes over the feature of my utility script for Blender. Yeah. Drunk Dragon, are you from the UK? Just wondering. Well, what would cost for the transition i have to look because i didn't i need to go back and review with how the avatar is set up <laughs> just because it was a while ago since uh, we worked on on era i think uh it would be best for me to just be sure that i i actually know <laughs> what's going on under the hood there can't share it yet so we'll just save the YouTube video share my my avatars you published your FT script poggies <laughs> little pogs <laughs> I, I did I did publish my shape key Baker and I'm, I'm putting I did a little video showing how it's done hello Sal welcome hello welcome welcome or ah uh, damn I was gonna say in the UK there's a store called sex Wow and they have used items that sell for really cheap. Is that really a store? You're making that up, Chip. <laughs> Happy Blender. Is it Blender Day? 312 Blender Day. Now, I will probably do an eBay search or something. Yeah, I think, I think you'll find something pretty cost effective there. Not made for kids. So much tagging and promotion. This and that. Too much. Nam Dutter, VR Chat, Blender, uh, Shape, Keys, um, Blend, Shapes, uh, Key Shapes. Import, Export, Unity. Um, hello aqua wolf hello welcome 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 honestly it's called sex <laughs> I, I can't believe that <laughs> well for me it is blended day well good good Jay. a celebratory day either way <laughs> hello zoom welcome zoom zoom hello hello my lord <laughs> is that a goatsy emote no <laughs> All this. <laughs> That's funny. English. English. United States English. Captions. No. Well, I got a meeting. I will be there, Sam. Sounds good, Era. Enjoy. Recording date. Add when and where your video was recorded. Right now. Today. Texts. Texas. Mm -hmm. Sure. Entertainment. I guess more education. Or. I don't know. Science and technology? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, we'll say education. 
no, no, I don't want to do all that stuff. All right, sort by top. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so where I got my connect from for the Scrunkly FBT setup I have. How goes the grind? Saw the imp pop out, so I assume era is done too. Actually, we finished Christy yesterday. Um, so we'll be working on era later today. I I have to set up an off stream. Anyway, well, we'll figure it out. I have to time it correctly, but uh, um, mostly we're working on the imp today. I did set up my shape key baking script on Gumroad, or I'm doing that right now. So that will be available for download. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I kind of played my hand there, uh, Aqua. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Add subtitles. Nope. Import from video. Sure. Best reviewer and subscribe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So he goes over the features of my utility script for Blender. You can download the script here. And then I need to put in the Gumroad link. So do next. Add cards, promote related content during your stream. Absolutely. Oh wait, why can't I do a link? Partner program. Got that insider information after our last chat. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you know, just, it's the, wor the world we live in. The world we live in. I blame uh, the breakdown of the traditional family. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. That is a joke. Uh, let's, can I save this as draft, please? I would like to. Oh, I guess I'll just save back. I just exit it, and it should be there. All right. I blame the furries, too. They're just too fuzzy. They're just too fuzzy. Okay, so what do we want our little shape key baker thumbnail to look like? So I missed the context here. <laughs> that is a-okay. Oh, I was just saying there's some work I can't stream. Some work I can't stream. That's pretty much it. At least 1280 by 720, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we'll just take some screenshots. <laughs> Hello, Axes. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm starting it with i7 14th gen and RTX 4070. Oh, I'm actually upgrading my PC to something good so that I could make some good work faster and get 4K quality. I need to do the same. I don't know about the i7, but I would have, the RTX 4070 certainly sounds good to me. That's an upgrade for me. <laughs> I blame the machine. <laughs> All right, we're going to do like a little, just a nice shot here. Let's find like a funny expression. We're going to do something like this for our thumbnail. You're the one Sam can't show. <laughs> I did something wrong. <laughs> uh, no, it's for era. <laughs> I'd still stick AMD for anything modeling related. As a robot wolf, I'm just taking all the blame, apparently. It's true. It's true. Bad dog. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh no, uh, <laughs> I've seen this before. Uh, 
for era or era uh the uh the lord lord era what is that this is your future zoom this is what happens if you misbehave in chat <laughs> um let me see i think most likely what you're going to want to do with this uh, uh arctic is Oh, wait, uh, well, let me know if you have any questions about that, but that is amazing. I do actually really enjoy to see this in VR. Diet result. <laughs> <laughs> the moment you re-import an FBX and an unpacked free, free fab, pretty much, yeah. Osmo Lord is having work done you can't show. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe possible dun, 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 dun. we're gonna here, I think. So I'm going to snap it to the edges and snap this to the edge. Please snap. Please snap. There we go. It's an old project I'm updating, so I'm going to have to rebuild it. I did not consent to Unity shrink wrap. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. Can't wait to try your script on my son. I hope it helps. Hope it helps. You still have to make all the animations and stuff, but at the very least, it'll save you some time. All I can imagine are the secret blend shapes. <laughs> I did make a uh, Christie's blend shapes on stream, which were very fun. Booty slider. Make a folder for Photoshop. I'm going to redo my screenshot of this because I think it'd be better to do a screenshot. This kind of thing. And I'll do just the window. And then I'm going to do just the shape keys. That is the secret about VR chat. Every avatar's got a secret shape keys. Well, maybe not everyone. Mr. Krabs SpongeBob one. I hope it does not. <laughs> okay. And I don't know, we'll make it look kind of dynamic. Yes, maybe. Uh, let's take all of these and say, oh, uh, just one at a time. Oh, oh, great clipping mask. That was interesting. Okay, and we'll say shape key baker. Something like that. Do I spend too much time making thumbnails? Perhaps. 
what is this you're doing? I'm just making a little thumbnail for my um, Gumroad product. So I have this script that I'm looking to uh, share with everyone. Um, and it's a very useful script for me, which is like, uh, basically you can save your, um, why can't I edit this one? Sorry, you can save your, all your animations. So especially for like facial animation directly into shape keys. Um, and it's very useful because it just saves so much time. So if you, if you ever have to redo some shape keys or you have to, <laughs> you know, go back in so that you're, you need to apply a modifier after you've made all shape keys. It just gets so difficult to work with there that I've uh, had to spend some time some tools that actually speed up speed up that process because it is awful it's actually really bad actually i'm not going to do that delete this it is it is it doesn't do it for you <laughs> apply modifiers i hate it <laughs> i probably should have included an example when i did it but ah, whatever Just a little, little vignette, looks good. Put the text above. We'll call this foreground. This one will be the text. Um, the meeting is going on, going to be so long. Sorry in advance for not being here currently. You're totally fine, Era. <laughs> Work does come first. My desk made a weird sound. Okay. I don't think I'll use this intense font. And I don't know, we'll do some sort of arrows, do like a circle. Like, oh, look at this. Look. Some red circles. We'll give us a stroke as well. And also a shadow. 
because it just doesn't look quite right without it. Uh, what, does that look okay? I'm going to go with it because I'm lazy. I just don't want to do it anymore. Arrow. Arrow. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and export that PNG. If I can click the freaking button. Products, Chipkey Baker. Uh, we'll do promotional images, promotional, I guess. Chipkey Baker banner. Perfecto. How dare you be in meetings era? How dare you? Perfecto. One last thing we're going to add. In the background here, I'm going to put these together and also give them an outer glow. It just it just looks nice. What can I say? It just looks a little nice. I have just some slight shadowing. I'm all about it. Uh, last thing, I'm going to move this up, duplicate it, take this one, shrink it, move it down. And do... Sam Dutter, a dot, I can't do a dot, <laughs> dot com. All right. Oh, I like how the T's together. That's kind of cool. And the arrow, I'm actually going to put over everything. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is two T's, though. Okay. Uh, let me back up. Sam Dutter. <laughs> Sam du Dupier. <laughs> Sam Dumpy. <laughs> Dumpier. <laughs> All right. Close those. Save. The kerning on that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was getting getting rough. I don't mind the double T. I say that now. It is a little rough. Hey! Out I am programming. Um, I'm a do. <laughs> I'm a do. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the follow or subscription. Thank you for, this, for coming by. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. We're working on some... Uh, trying to get this promotional thing working there we go they just the tips are touching the tips of the t's they're touching <laughs> all right let's export that yes i know it exists already Andy 
do. Okay, now we need a thumbnail. Duplicate this, call it thumbnail. Okay, and we're just going to crop this square. I don't want to delete anything, I just want to crop it. I just want to crap it. Actually, let me back up one more time. There we go. Yes. Okay. Then we can take the border. Doop. Doop. Just select the two T's and increase the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Enter and then spread it out just a little about there. Right about there. Okay. And then we'll take these two, shrink them, and I'll get rid of my name on this part. And I'm going to get rid of the arrow. And we're just going to take this guy and move him over. Something like this. Hello, text XD. Welcome. And on the screen, welcome back. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, you two. Hope you're all having a good day. I'll bring back the arrow. Just kind of move it there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just goofing right now. Um, well, welcome back, white screen. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope everyone out there had a good weekend, by the way. Anyone get up to any fun, fun projects? All right, I feel like that's good enough. Or maybe it's better to say, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so we're going to export this, the thumbnail, wait for it to load, and then we'll open it again. This one, just by itself. And underscore 600. All right, and then image, image size. 600 save go back here upload a computer file this was good but a little little bit stressful because of some important tests hey well at least they're behind you now you know you've made it through you kind of sailed through your testing now you got some fun stuff to look forward to Sorry, I can I can show this. I'm just moving my files over. Let's 
rips. And we'll paste it right here. And we're going to change it from shape key C Christy to just V1. No. Uh, create page. Insert file. Got the best grade that is possible. Congrats, that's awesome. That's awesome. I think I might stick to making worlds. This stuff is so confusing and difficult. <laughs> well, I would just keep in mind, Chip, that you may be starting with a, a um, you may be taking on a challenge that is a little bit bigger than you thought. And that's okay. I would just say, um, uh, one of the great ways to start with avatars is to take like, a base model and just make edits around it. You know, you have something that you know works, just build on top of that to get an understanding uh, of how those, these things are put together. Um, I think that's a great place to start. So perhaps that might suit what you're trying to do right now a lot better. Um, definitely definitely relate to the difficulty <laughs> it is there's always it's a bit of a pandora's box with this kind of work you you open it and you just keep pulling out new frustrating stuff to find <laughs> it's a little you know what are those called the nesting dolls uh babushkas no that's a that's a grandma uh you know what i mean russian nesting dolls you just kind of keep pulling them out <laughs> um anyway uh, here is the full script. Follow the video directions here to understand how it works. Welcome back here. Yeah, I started before with the base and I just got clothes and added and made everything fit. It went well, just had to make hard to make sure clothes and do everything else yes there, there is a lot more to that um just keep it simple keep it bite -sized. so what was zoom zoom asking they're asking uh why i couldn't share your work on stream <laughs> uh, gonna be this hello gonna be this welcome welcome to the stream i'm multi-streaming so if i'm here like i'm talking to other people it's because they're down here in the in the chat welcome back Lord. i heard you're getting a private touch from sam oh, wow <laughs> wow my goodness that's a lot more expensive <laughs> let me miss, make this easy i'm a furry well <laughs> Uh, did I publish the video yet? No. Okay, so put this over here. Go back to YouTube. Go back to content. Take the shape key baker. We will now publish the video. So I can copy it and paste it here. Um, Here's the full script. Follow the video directions to understand how it works. Um, and we'll it's best to follow the video directions to understand how it works. Click here. Link people miss that and then bam drag the file below into the text editor on in blender adapt the um, script to for your animations 
or create animations to match the provided script. Create displacement modifiers for other um, for additional shape keys. Um, create and assign vertex groups for moving shape key influence from specific parts of the body, the mesh, uh, use the play button, make sure the armature modifier on your target mesh is named rig. <clears throat> Move the time timeline to frame zero. Yes, I want some things. <laughs> And who knows? I may have to change directions, AR kit stuff or something. I don't know, but I want some things. I, I yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in doing the uh, the facial tracking. Julio Sam's gonna make me another Abby soonish. Yeah, I'm so pumped. Zoom, so pumped. The pants look really cool. The pants look super cool. Guess you're a bi bicado dragon now. Bico. Bipedal. See that overwrite method? I'm guessing that will work with worlds too, right? Any sort of 3D file um or image uh i don't know if you could i don't know how you do it with like a scene a like unity scene but generally any uh text file any 3d model file those can be overwritten with the same method usually anything would have a very identifiable identifiable dot jpeg or dot fbx dot txt any of any file that ends like that Basically, Unity is looking for the name of that file, and it will use whatever is in that file. And you can change what's under it as long as the name is the exact same and it's in the same location. Uh, it will use whatever's in that, that file. 99% sure I had multiple uh, multiple tails things would get weird. <laughs> if you had multiple tails, that would be interesting. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how it would work. <laughs> We, I mean, we could make it a separate object. Then you could just add as many as you want. Certainly would be well past the very poor ranking at that point. <laughs> um, press the play button in the text editor. Or, hey, this is not password is now following. Thank you for the follow. This is not password. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Uh, Right now we're putting up a little product for VR chat creators or Blender users, um, but usually I'm working on VR chat avatars. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Thought you could only use one at a time. You can have as many uh, Fizzbone components as you want. It'll just change your ranking, but yeah, you could add as many tails as you as you'd like. You can add so many tails that people join the server and crash. <laughs> <laughs> Press play button in the text editor or hit uh, press alt plus p with your mouse cursor over the text editor review resulting shape keys Damn, I was going to fix one of my worlds, but I just remembered I had to reinstall Windows because I got a new SSD and I lost all my worlds. No, I think you can get them back.
Mm, I don't. I don't see an option to re-download it, but to re-download worlds. That would be cool, though. That would be really cool. That, that is a bummer, Chip. That is a bummer. <laughs> Not very right. If I ever had you make Sean, he has nine. Ooh, very cool. Nine to Fox. There's a way to get stuff back. I just looked, unfortunately. Not that not that I see. There are ways to extract data, but I won't go into that onto the stream because that's you know, if it's your own world, I mean it would be nice to be able to get that back. But uh I can't endorse those methods on stream. <laughs> Stronger fox then. <laughs> Oh, nine to kill wolf, a strong, strong, stronger fox, like a fox plus. Review resulting shape keys, delete shape keys. Um, re fake as needed. Oops, whoops, okay, good. Bugs. Make sure that you have the basis shape key selected before deleting shape keys. this is smaller also ensure that shape key lock is that what it's called shape key lock hello child welcome welcome to the stream hello hello <laughs> i'll probably prefer your scaly cell <laughs> even with all that touching sand's putting you through pet 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 <laughs> so do i i love sean he is also my first suit in the world but yeah i like being me aka arabane more I really got to touch the avatars. It's important. Ensure that that the basis shape key is selected before deleting shape keys. Let's just save there. And I think it's good to go. We can go back here actually, and we'll add the YouTube link. Did I already have it here? No. Pretty sure it needs the full link. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's put this up front and then on our thumbnails. How's life going? It's going well. It's going well. Uh, we've released that imp character, the one uh, over here. I think this points the right direction. I always forget. Yeah, the one over here. Uh, we just released the imp. And uh, thank you all for downloading and um, purchasing the imp because it's, it's been quite successful. I'm feeling really good. 
I'm uh, feeling very happy about that. So thank you all for, for your support. Um, and uh, we're moving on to more products later. Uh, I think today we're going to uh, pick up work on the collaborative avatar I'll be working on with Lindy. Um, and I'm, I'm quite excited about that. I think that's going to look really good. You know, it's random, but I want to say it. I live on the northern side of my country. My exposure to actual Mexican food is minimal. I wish my friendos in the south understand that they can when they name a mexican dish i have no clue what it is i am also very white <laughs> but was there a specific dish that that you are unfamiliar with have you never heard of tacos So I just updated the thumbnail now. Perfect. So now we get the video as the starting point. Perfect. Okay. I think we're good. Publish. Congratulations, Sam. It looks amazing. The imp character. Thank you. Empanada, I think. I haven't had that many empanadas either. Um, they're a lot, a lot. I think they're like dumplings, basically. Wow, you guys make me hungry. I'm glad lunch is in 30 minutes because this looks delicious. Yeah, little dumplings. Uh, VR chat, Blender, Unity, uh, Shape, Key. Where would this go? 3D. Definitely in 3D. Blender. Blender. Perfect. Save. Okay. Oh, I have more uh, sections. I guess that's cool. I'll have to go through and make that a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to post it on YouTube. Oh my, that looks lovely. Oh, lovely. I had to ask what it was three different ways before they had the light bulb. <laughs> you don't know what an empanada is? <laughs> How dare you? Get out of my house. I mean, that you may actually get a reaction like that if you said that here in Texas. <laughs> Sigma Wanna is following. Hello, Sigma Wanna. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're working on some VR chat avatar stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. But right now, I'm standing up. And my desk is standing up too. Because I'm tired of sitting. I'm tired, Grandpa. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and just funny because the first time I asked, they said beef like that. <laughs> Second time the response was Mexican. And the third time I just flat out said, I have no idea what this is at all. I have never heard about it ever. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard the word, but if you don't know what it is, then, you know. Like uh, in Australia, they call dumplings dimmies. Um, I try the script right now. Hey, let's go, Jay. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully, and definitely let me know if you have any questions at all, Jay. No, I have never heard the word. Yeah, like uh, if you go to Australia, they call dumplings uh, dimmies. They go, there, what the heck is a dimmy? <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> um, all right, what am I doing? I'm going to go ahead and post this places. Create a little. Let me go here. I'm going to create a post. Share a sneak peek of your next video. No. Um, shape key baker now released. 
This is a work, a script to speed up and assist with your shape key workflow. <laughs> do I have a YouTube channel? I do, I do. It's the same name, Sam Dutter. Here in the Netherlands also. <laughs> hey, Netherlands, shout out. Shout out, Netherlands, nice. Dumplings. Wait, you've never had dumplings in the Netherlands? I will test out my base, which already has shape keys for FT. Good, good, okay. Uh, just keep in mind, it's supposed to work with an animation you already have. So you do have to adapt any animations you've made to fit the script. So the script just bakes the animation you provide it, but you still have to make your own animation. Maybe I'll come, oh, sorry. Actually, maybe I should really say face tracking animation set. Well, it'd be an auto rig pro specific one. Sorry, I'm scratching the microphone. Um, shape key baker now released. A script to speed up and assist with your shape key workflow. Get it here. We have lots of dumplings. All right, good. good. It's like, what a wild world. Text. Hello, text. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> All right, maybe that'll be my next Gumroad uh, thing, is doing my uh, face tracking animations. Whoa. Oh, it's kind of. <laughs> is that you, Jay? <laughs> Jay, if you want my, if you use Autorig Pro, I'm happy to send you my uh, um, face tracking animations that I've set up for it. I'd be happy to send that your way. I recognize you, though. The 27. The 27. BRB sounds good. Sounds good. I use Autorig Pro. That would be lovely. Okay, let me go ahead and package that up. Maybe I should include it. No, I'm gonna put it in its own package, its own thing eventually, but for now, I'll just send it directly to you. Uh, do I only use Rigify? I use AutoRig Pro. I have used Rigify. It's very similar, uh, but I prefer AutoRig Pro because they have better export options between Blender and Unity. Um, there's a lot more uh, flexibility you have when working in order to export to game engines. I, I would just use Rigify if I was only in Blender. Um, uh, so let me get you that file, Jay. So I think what I'll do to extract it is I'll make a new file with nothing in it. And I'll go to File Append. Yeah, let's do uh, Christie's. Action, Shape Key Baker, this one should be. That will go to dope sheet, action editor, grab this. Oh, I need a, <laughs> I need an armature to save it. So I'll make single bone armature, put that there, make sure it's saved. Okay. And then we'll put this 2024. And I think I will eventually make a product out of this. So I'll say base tracking animations. Folder for Blender. Face tracking animations. animations. Save. Nice. Um, new file is good. Can use it as kind of a template and import the model. Most optimized armature. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Where do you stream? I stream on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Shout out Facebook. I just added it. A added, added it. Um, and kick, wait, sorry, Twitch, YouTube, 
Twitter, Kick, and Facebook. Yes. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Um, I'm going crazy. All right, so that's the whole thing there. Like that, and then I will get the file. Mix tracking blender. And Jay, are you Jay on uh, Discord? Or what's your what's your Discord username again, Jay? Or just send me a message on Discord. <laughs> That'd be best. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow, I read my mind. Uh, oh, hey there. <laughs> Boom. Okay, that should work nicely. Let me know if you have any need any help with that. But that, uh, not Discord and Billy Billy. Billy Billy. Can I actually stream to Discord from Restream? What is Billy Billy? I've never heard of Billy Billy. It must be a streaming site. It's actually a lot of sites here. Huh. Chinese YouTube. Interesting. I mean, you know, I think ideally I would just stream on literally every single platform. I would just be on every single platform. <laughs> I don't I don't see a downside to that besides just not being able to understand people sometimes. <laughs> um okay. Uh, we released some stuff. I just need to post the thing in a few spots. Uh, let me get my Gumroad. Bam. We'll go to products. Chipkey Baker. Uh, I wish I could copy this link. There we go. Mass post in process. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. So I'll post it here. Um, new product. Or maybe I should do announcements. That's where I posted it last time. New Gumroad product. Sorry, everyone. Tagging you. Deal with it. <laughs> um, Share with your followers. That's what I just did, right? Publish. Sent to all servers following this channel. Oh, interesting. I guess you can like put channels into other servers. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Watch me be old online. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I think we'll go ahead and call it here for this main stream because I'm at a good spot to end. I'm hungry and uh, we'll be back pretty soon. Um, so I think, yeah, I'll just call it here for our morning stream. So thank you everyone who's been hanging out with me this morning. For anyone new out there, thank you for hanging out. Um, I make a lot of digital products and uh, we're going to be making a lot more. Uh, we're going to be starting a new avatar today. we will be working on uh, some stuff off stream and uh, I, might, I might stream that on Discord. We'll see. No promises. <laughs> I get a little off me about that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I will see you all very soon. Thank you all for hanging out with me this morning. Much love to each and every one of you. Hopefully, I'll see you later today. I'm just ending the first stream for today. We'll be doing a second stream in about an hour and a half, two hours. So definitely hit that follow or subscribe because I'll be back pretty soon. But Arctic Sky, Zoom, text. Thank you all for hanging out, and uh, I'll catch you all soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you soon.